I recently did this project with five-year-olds and it went so well I wanted to share it in video form. So what it is, it's this little pocket that has ten beads on top and I've got um, cards inside and the idea is to separate the beads into the ten beads into groups. So in this case it's five and five and then the student gets to pick the card up and check to make sure that they did it right and once they've done it they put the puck, they put the piece of paper over there and and try the next one and so it's an exercise in uh, understanding how the groups that ten is made out of and to get them familiar with these numbers six and four five and five eight and two that they that they're parts of ten and so this is how and I have the PDFs uh, listed in the note show notes so here they are this is what I have in there something that looks like this and a bunch of pages that have the number groups on them so with this piece what you would do is fold it in half and I did this for the five-year-olds depends on what your goals are and how much depends on what your goals are and how much time you have and there's a line there to show about where the pocket should go up to line everything up nicely and there we have our little pocket Then, here's a paper punch. I've put in a couple of holes. Again, I did this for the kids. And then, the next thing I did for the kids is tied a piece of yarn on there. And, you know, if they can do it, that's great. But, whatever. So, then the next thing is to, to put on ten, 10 beads. And you can do this by just having them go right through. You can see it can be a little fussy. So there's a couple of options. You can just let it be fussy and have them work on that. Um, what I had them do is, is separate out 10 beads first and I checked that they actually had 10 beads uh, because they're still you know it's an age group that's still learning to count one by one um, so you can do that I often use a shoelace, shoelace tip yarn because it's so much easier or you can uh, use a plastic needle in this case these are pony beads uh, and the plastic needles, there, there's a little tug, but you can do that. So you can use that. And the last option is to uh, just take the yarn, dip in a little bit of glue, smush it around with your fingers. It takes about a minute or so to dry, but it'll give you a, a, a hard tip. It just depends on what you want to do. So after the beads are put on, after the beads are put on, you tie this up and you have your cards. What I've done here is I've cut out my cards, but because this is all eight and a half by eleven paper, and this would fit in just perfectly here, but you know it, it tends to if it lends it would be hard to close if it's just over a little bit. So I actually cut mine just a little bit more okay so uh, the last thing about this is that if you want you can put a little bit of tape here which is a good thing so they so the cards don't fall out as the kids are carrying them around and I would suggest if this is a group of 10 you just have them write 10 on the front so it's clear that these are groups of 10. And when this gets too easy, which hopefully it will, 
when these get, gets too easy, what you can do is turn these over and make any kind of other kind of groupings. Maybe they can do it. So it could be a three, a three, and a four. So they write three, three, four, and do make three beads, three beads, four beads. So they're making their own cards of groupings. Uh, once you've got the tens done, uh, you can do other groupings. You can do 12, you can do eight, and you've got to make your own cards for that. But I, I think you could do that. So that's my little project, and I hope you enjoy it and make it with kids.